Okay, now here I'm going to go ahead and check amp draw of the inducer. So I get the inducer started up, uh, clamp the lead. I got 1.06 amps. Okay, I'm showing a rated load of 1.0 amps. So it's drawn right up at the top of it. Uh, Let's check a little closer in this inducer. Usually they don't run up quite that hot. Okay, because we uh, had a rated load that uh, is one amp and we're drawing just a skosh over that, it's probably okay. However, uh, maybe we should check a little closer to make sure this thing's okay. Now these things lose their bearings. This is your back bearing here. This bearing usually is no problem. The front bearing here, uh, on this side, this is the one that gets hot because this is where the high temperature is. And that's usually the one that fails. I think their bearings just dry out. You can uh, get oil into them uh, and get them running again if they did uh, stop on you, if it seized up. But it's not a permanent repair, it's just temporary stuff and you'll have to replace the inducer. Uh, by the way, do not replace the motor on the inducer, replace the entire inducer. Uh, you'll never get it balanced right. Uh, you may never get the blower off the shaft, so replace the whole ball game. But we're going to look close at this thing and see if we think bearings are uh, okay. Okay, I'm just going to take a little probe in here and flip this thing. Okay, uh, looking at this, it looks like it's turning okay. It's uh, reasonably free. Okay, uh, while you're on that inducer, be checking around here looking for oilers. They'll be right on one of these bars here and there'll be a hole up there in the top. If there are oilers in it, go ahead and oil the thing. Uh, most of them anymore don't have oilers. This one does not. Uh, but it's a good idea to check them, and if uh, if they got oilers, I'd oil them. Okay, I've checked the power coming in. Uh, it's 121 and a half volts. Uh, that's probably fine. I can go ahead and start the machine to see if it makes a difference. Now, the inducer just come on. It's, it's staying the same. I don't think there's going to be an issue with it. Uh, whether or not you check voltage when you do a service, I suppose it's always a good idea, but certainly if you have anything that tends to be drawing a little bit too much power or something like that, you're going to definitely want to check that voltage before you get any farther. Okay, now what I'm going to do is check the amp draw of the fan motor. And you notice I got a clamp meter down. It's clamped around the white wire. You want to clamp that around the white wire. That's the same wire you took off to shut off the fan for the uh, limit test. So let's uh, fire this unit up and see what happens. Okay, looks like we're drawing amps there. Looks like we're old oh, 4.7, something like that. I can check this against a model and serial plate. Sometimes it's written on there, sometimes not. About the only other way then to find out what the amp draw should be is to check the blower itself. If you look at the model and serial plate and you can't find an amp draw for the motor, then you really don't know what the total amp draw should be. Now this is a third horse motor that is on the model and serial and you're going to be kind of guessing on this. You can pull the blower out and if you can see the amp draw, which a lot of these have a belly band on them. I'll show you a belly band here. Okay, this motor here has a belly band on it and the model and serial or the amp draw plate is right there underneath those screws you can't tell anything about it you'd have to take it out to find out I usually do not take a blower out to determine its amp draw if I'm not cleaning it or something like that if I'm cleaning it I'll check it then uh, you're gonna have to kinda guess on these things 
Okay, to give you some ballpark numbers of where they should be, third horse is probably going to run five to seven, half horse seven to nine, and three quarter horse nine to thirteen. Now they're just ballpark numbers, and uh, you're not making your decision just on amp drawing this thing. If the bearings are loose or they're tight or something like that, uh, then that's telling you something too. Okay, and the end result, uh, if you're unsure, pull the motor out, check the amp draw. Okay, before we leave this fan motor, take a look. We got a, a run cap on there because this is a PSC motor. Let's go ahead and uh, pull the wires off that thing and we will test the cap. Okay, with my meter leads hooked up there, you see they're right, hooked up right there. Uh, and the wires off I'm showing 12.2 microfarads and if you look on the plate on it you'll see it's a 12.5 okay you can see it's showing 12.5 UF or microfarads so it's uh, pretty much right on the money 